see you again on Inside OC. Okay, now we chit chat. Now, we're, now, okay. now we do an open mic segment. This oh, okay. doesn't air, but it's it's on YouTube. Oh, okay. So, uh, anything you want to? Uh, anything we didn't cover? Uh, whatever, whatever you. Well, want. then yeah. to talk to continue that discussion about how things have changed. Uh, it seems to me like ESPN has just. I don't know if it's ESPN, if it's the internet, but sports reporting has just changed so much uh, o o over the years, and that nowadays it's immediate. Um, I know it's a shock jock, but it's just a totally different uh, environment. Well, I, I think, you know, like we were talking about, it's, I think our group has, is finding ways to uh, maximize revenue from the Internet, and, and they've, done a, they've done a pretty good job. And there are newspapers that are, that are flourishing. I mean, the Washington Post, since Amazon took over, has uh, been a great newspaper. They've done a great job. They've kind of gone back to... To their roots, and and uh, they've really invested in the in the product. It's funny that uh, you know the Minneapolis Star Tribune, which is owned by the guy Glenn Taylor, who owns the basketball team, they flourished, and and they and San Francisco Chronicle is making a somewhat of a comeback. And I think that um, the election and and the the thirst that people have for legitimate news, and I think that in some ways. Uh, even though there's a lot of negative pressure against the press from up top now, um, I think that people are, are realizing more and more that the newspapers are the ones that really generate the stories and that, that there's a credibility factor there um, that you don't really find a lot on the Internet. And I, I think the other encouraging thing is that I've seen this in this market. There's a lot of young guys who are in this business and who walked into this business with eyes wide open and in the sports writing realm are really good and, and very impressive. And, and, you know, that part hasn't changed. I think as long as you continue to have that, uh, people who want to do this, and, and I don't know what their career goals are. They may be trying to get on TV. They might be trying to go to Yahoo or one of the, the big uh, websites in, eventually. But as long as you have people like that uh, in our business, I'm encouraged. Yeah. Um, uh, as you know, with the social media and everything, it can be brutal. Mm -hmm. It can be brutal out there. You got people, you got a big target on your back. Yes. You've been hit a few times. Yeah, sure. um, uh, you know, is, is it nastier now? Uh, uh, you know, it just seems like everybody wants to weigh in on the sports. Right. And, and, you know, I mean, it's sports, and so mm -hmm. it, it's fun, but it, yeah. in a way, you're dealing, it seems like sometimes you kind of forget you're dealing with human beings and that it can get pretty vicious. Well, the coaches and the players go through it, too. I mean, the, the fans who would complain about their teams in the car on the way home now have an outlet to do that. You know, they have a keyboard and they have, they have uh, all the tools that they can do that with. I, I think the biggest thing, and you see it in politics, you see it everywhere, is that uh, instead of I disagree with you, it's, you're a moron, you know. I mean, it, 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 the tone of it is is different that way. But you know, it's part of the territory. I, you know, it, again, it's just email. It's just Twitter. It shouldn't be um, it shouldn't be blown up in anything more than it is. A lot of it is just sticks and stone. Yeah. And uh, you know, you have to be thick skinned uh, in a lot of ways if you're if you're involved in anything where your name is on it. Whether it's what we do, it's what athletes do, it's what politicians do, or any anybody where you put your name on it, yeah. you've got to be a little bit thick-skinned because people have the outlet, and and there are uh, people who just enjoy dumping on you, and and that's just the way it is, and you know, and, and they're they're hiding, and you're not, so uh, it's just part of the deal, and I don't get yeah. too caught up in it. Finally, who's the greatest athlete to come out of Orange County? We talked about this when Tony Gonzalez. Uh, became the second all-time leading receiver in the NFL, and he was also a terrific basketball player at Cal. Um, he would be one. Janet Evans would be one for all she did at the Olympics. I'm sure the I'm swimmer. Gonna, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to blow this. How about by. Walter Johnson? Walter Johnson, I was going to mention him. He's certainly he the, the primary fame, baseball player. that uh, The Nolan Ryan of his time. Absolutely. I mean, he was, he's, he was you know, synonymous with uh, pitching and but you know I, I oh, think and, and beyond all Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Woods would yeah. have to be Tiger Woods would be you know, yeah. um, even if he doesn't ever do anything again uh, what he did uh, between uh, 
1997 and, and 2008 is, is something that no other golfer yeah, what, did. What, yeah, what's your sense of that uh, with Tiger? Is he going to come back or is he, is he done as a he, competitive uh, he golfer? He played in his foundation tournament in, in the Bahamas and finished the tournament, which he'd had trouble doing the last couple of years. And he, he shot a 65 one day. Um, I think he was encouraged that he felt pretty good. Uh, he is going to play in L.A. at, the, uh, at Riviera. Their foundation's running that tournament now. He's going to, I guess he's planning to play in the, in the Masters, and, and it will be a big storyline this year to see what he does. The problem is, even if he is healthy, you know, golf didn't wait around for him. I mean, the, the, the caliber of play now by Jason Day, Jordan Spieth, Dustin Johnson, Henrik Stenson, all those guys, uh, Matsuyama, who's been the best player the last couple of months, all those guys have taken the game to a new level. I mean, if you saw Stenson and Phil Mickelson at the British Open last year going, you know, birdie for birdie on the last round, um, that's, that's the type of stuff Tiger Woods used to do. Now, when he was doing it, there wasn't anybody close to him. So he could, he could play to the level he used to play at and still not dominate. Really? Wow. And because these guys have taken the bar uh, a lot higher. And, and, uh, and a lot of things are attributable to what Tiger brought to the game, physical fitness, uh, the dedication, the equipment, and and just the way he went after it. I mean, Tiger Woods was was a, a, a huge force in the game because he brought a mentality and, that really wasn't in golf before. I mean, if he was up eight, he wanted to win by fifteen. I mean, he, he had that that hunger and killer instinct. Well, now a lot of people have it. You know, I mean, Jason Day and, and these guys are are just as they're on that level. And so I think the the process of him getting back to that level beyond health and beyond anything else that might be going on with him uh, is amazing. I mean, it, it's a shame that things happened the way they did because if he had continued to do what he was doing, uh, he, would have, he would have been unquestionably uh, the best golfer. But it didn't happen, and, and that's part of life too. I mean, Jack Nicklaus did what he did and had a very disciplined and, and, and um, very warm and nurturing family life and, and was able to be a dad and, and do all these things and still play exceptional golf, and, and it's all part of it. I mean, it, at some point, something in the world is going to trip you up, and if, if you let it, yeah. that's what happened to him. But uh, I'm glad that everybody in golf is glad that he's back. I mean, certainly the ratings will be much better, and, and it, it's, it's funny that he's now, I remember when he was a kid, and now he's like a nostalgic figure, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just an indication of how long we've been around. Yeah, yeah. Tom, great, great having you on. Great to be here.